All right, everyone. This is Tasha. Welcome to Forex Basics. We will get started today. We'll do just a quick 10-minute uh, overview. And all of the slides and videos, all the slides and videos that I'll go over today are posted on my YouTube channel. So if you search for my name in YouTube, Tasha Hodes, H-O-D-E-S, first name spelled T-A-I-S-H-A, you'll find everything that we're going over today. So if um, for some reason you miss a step or you're um, not able to go through it live with us, no worries. Um, all of the slides um, and videos are found um, on YouTube. Forex Basics. And the purpose of this call is to ease you all into the process of Forex trading. Uh, Tradera does a wonderful job of providing all the education that you'll need in the back office, which is what you're seeing on my screen now. And there's live training Sunday through Thursday at 8 p.m. There are free indicators, so you'll have all the tools that you'll need. So the purpose of this class is just to ease you into that process. We're going to help you get set up with a demo account, show you how to download MetaTrader 4, which is the app that you'll need to actually place the trades. And before it's all over, we'll actually uh, just give you a quick overview of trading view, which is um, where you can do your charting when you get to the point where you're ready to study the charts for yourself. So with that, we'll do a quick review tonight. And um, hopefully you can use your phone and our laptop and follow along with us. But if you're not, if don't worry if you're not able to, all of the slides that I'll go over tonight can be found on my YouTube channel. So just search up my name, Tasha, T-A-I-A, -A, last name Hodes, H-O-D-E-S. And I think we there should be You can find all of them on YouTube. Okay, so we'll do maybe a quick 10-minute review. And then tonight, we will actually um, go over entering the trades uh, for yourself. So here I'm in the back office under education platform. So you'll want to spend some time uh, in two places, Forex, and then scrolling down to the bottom, technical analysis. You definitely want to start in the Forex section. There are mostly uh, PDFs, just text for you to read, and it really gives a quick and succinct introduction into forex what it is what we're doing um, and some of the um, platforms that you'll use for for getting started so i definitely want to point that out and so after you go through the forex section technical analysis I've been back here myself, and this is where the owners may seem like great to you um, initially, but um, rest assured, the videos are short, to the point, and very well done. And don't forget that there's a page two. And this last um, one is uh, a real gem, intraday trading strategy. So this will get, really give you an overview of um, all the wonderful things you'll see here with the education and Tradera. So don't be afraid to jump into your back office. The Forex section and the technical analysis, you definitely want to, uh, to study those. So let's do a quick review of what we've been going over the last two weeks. I'm going to go through these slides pretty quickly um, to catch some of you up, but don't worry, you can find them all um, on YouTube. So, setting up your demo account. Tradera does not officially uh, recommend any one broker over the other. So, for demonstration purposes, we're going to go with Hugo's Way. This is a broker that a lot of us use, but you are free to use any of these that you choose. So, in 
order to sign up your sign up for your demo account, here is the URL, hugosway.com forward slash demo dash sign dash up. When you get here, there are only a few fields that you have to fill out. First name, last name, and email address. Make sure it's um, an email that you can get to because they're going to send you a confirmation email with some login information that you'll need. So for leverage, you're going to choose 500. And for your starting balance, we're going to choose that small, um, the smallest amount for $1,000. Submit that. And immediately you should get an email, a confirmation email from Hugo's Way. Play, um, play co close attention to, let me go back up a slide, to the MT4. Tasha, I think you mute yourself again. Login detail. Okay, can you guys hear me now? Yeah, we yes. can hear you now. Okay, great. Yeah, so after you click submit on that first screen, then you'll get a confirmation email from Hugo's Way. Play, um, pay close attention to the MT4 login details. The demo account number will be your login and the trader password will be your password. Then you can actually download MetaTrader 4 or as we call MT4 for short. And some people like to have it on their laptops. I um, definitely trade from my phone. I think when I first started, I used it on my laptops, but having it um, in one or both places, at least having it on your phone means if you're away from your computer, you can check on your trade if you wanted to. So I definitely recommend having it on your phone. And so that's the download step. After you get your demo account, then this is what we went through last week. You're going to open up your MetaTrader 4 app. And now I have instructions for both the iPhone and the Android because we realize the steps are basically the same, but just they look a little different dep depending on your, um, your platform. So, starting with the iPhone, if you open up MetaTrader 4 and click on the settings icon here in the bottom right corner, next you'll go to new account, and then you'll click on login to an existing account, this second option here. And lastly, on this page, you want to search for Hugo's Way dash demo 3. So with any broker, you'll, you will typically see a uh, live server for your live account and another server for your demo. If you don't have any in your list, then just go here to the search tool and type in Hugo's Way, and then you can click on the demo three option. And the last few steps for the iPhone, you'll need to pull up that confirmation email from Hugo's Way. For login, you'll type in your demo account number. For password, you'll type in the trader password. Make sure you have this save password set to on, which is as it's shown here with the green to the left and the white to the right. That way you won't have to remember this uh, <laughs> difficult um, login process again. So just have that turned on, then click sign in. And that's it for the iPhone. For the droid, it looks a little different. We're gonna go to this, I believe it's called the hamburger icon up above next to quotes, the three horizontal lines, which is different than the chat icon here that we learned about um, about a week ago. So click on those three horizontal lines, then you'll go to manage accounts, and then you'll need to click the plus icon in the top right corner. The last few steps for the Android, log in to an existing account. And we keep choosing existing account because we already set up our demo account on Hugo's Way. Same steps again. Um, if you do not see Hugo's Way Demo 3 in the list, 
type it into the search field. And then just like we did for the iPhone, pull up that Hugo's Way confirmation email, do your demo account number for your login, trader's password for your password, and for the Android, you're gonna make sure this checkbox is clicked so you won't have to refer back to that email anymore. So now we're caught up from what we've gone over. Um, briefly, there's one more presentation that I think we did the very first day. And that's understanding the trade alert. Because what we're working our way up to is when Tradera sends the trade alerts through the Telegram, you'll want to take out your, uh, your laptop or your phone and actually enter the trade. So that's what we're working our way up to. So I wanna explain what you'll see on the trade alerts. This is an example one. So uh, the first thing you'll see uh, is stop loss. And stop loss is the price where you want to exit the trade. So in this example, we are placing a buy on this pair. So we place a buy when we expect the price to go up. So what happens if there's news or the trade doesn't go our way and price begins to fall? Well, in order to protect your account, you want to set a stop loss, a price where you say, I've risked enough, I'll take my loss, price has fallen below a certain level, take me out of the trade. Stop loss is very important, especially when you're first starting out and um, your first you know, a few live trades, you definitely want to have a stop loss set. It's important no matter what size your account is, you want to protect your, your money there. So on the other end, the take profit is the price where you're, you're happy with your profits and you're ready to exit the trade. So in this example, we're going for a buy. So after we've secured the amount of pips that we think we want to get for that trade. Once the, the trade hits our take profit, it again takes us out of the trade. But this time we're in profit. So with the Tradera trade alerts, you'll get a take profit one, two, and three. So it depends on your style of, of trading. Take profit one is truly um, pip and dip, as we like to say. Get about, normally it's about 20 pips for take profit one you're happy with that you're out of the trade you have secured the bag you're done so that's what i did my very first week here uh just to sort of test out um, the trade alerts uh, normally now i normally go for take profit two. take profit two means i'm gonna get a little bit more than 20 pips normally around 40 or 50 so a little bit more profit i may have to wait a little longer Okay, I'll be in the trade a little longer. So that's pretty much what I do. I take take profit too. Now take profit three, obviously may have the most risk. You may have to be a little bit more patient and um, it's a little bit more risky, but you know, maybe you've done your analysis or maybe you just want the maximum profit, you know? So that's, if that's you, you would uh, use take profit three. Lot size. Now the lot size will not be included on the trade alert. So uh, Marcia and I, we, we agree on this uh, really strongly. These are recommended sort of industry standards for what size lot you should use when taking your trade. And this will make a lot more sense a little bit down the road, but we just want to give you something to use starting out. If you're starting um, balance is $100, then when you enter your trade, you will use 0 0.01, okay? Uh, for a $200 account size, 0 0.02. If there's a $1,000, which might be our demo accounts, um, 0.1 for the lot size. And once you're at 10,000, uh, a standard lot. Now you will see some trading plans that uh, progressively increase the lot size as you win more and more trades. So just know that there's um, a little bit more risk involved with that. Uh, we recommend starting kind of slow as you get your feet wet and sticking to the smaller lot size. 
And at the end of each Tradera trade alert, it says, please use proper risk management. And uh, that basically means make sure you have a stop loss set, especially if you have um, a smaller account. And it also means use um, the appropriate lot size based on the amount of money that you have. We really don't recommend trying to, um, you know, get rich overnight or doubling your account with just one trade by using a higher lot size. And we'll um, explain a little bit more about the lot size and how much you make per pip as we get a little further along. All right, well, that brings us to what we want to go over today. And that's actually taking the trade. So we've set up the demo account, we've downloaded MT4, we've connected MT4 to our demo account. A Tradera trade alert has come in, let's take the trade. And I'll go through these steps for both the iPhone and the Android. So starting with the iPhone, you open up MetaTrader 4, and you wanna look here on the left side for the pair in question, the, the pair that's listed on the trade alert. If you don't see the trade, the pair listed, especially if you're just opening up your demo account, then no worries. Click the plus icon in the top right, and then select FX Crosses. Now the naming here is going to depend on which broker you're using, so we'll see how it, it will be a little bit different for uh, the Droid. But for Hugo's Way, it's gonna say FX Crosses. And so I think the, the trade alert that we're going to look at, a pass one is CAD JPY. So in this case, when you see CAD, um, JPY, click on the icon next to it, then click done here in the top right. And when you go back to your list, that pair that you chose will be listed at the bottom. All right, just a few more steps and we'll be in the trade. So back on the home screen, once you have CAD JPY, just hold it down for a few seconds and this menu will come up. So if you click on chart, you'll be able to uh, take a look at where price is and sort of see it mapped out. But to take the trade, you're going to click on the trade button. And this is the screen that you'll see. So this is why I reviewed um, understanding the trade alert. So we'll need to populate the lot size, stop loss, take profit, and then hit buy or sell. So to the right, I have um, an older trade alert pulled up. So we know we have the right pair, CAD JPY. Now, as I said before, the lot size won't be on the trade alert. You'll have to know how much money is in your account and know what lot size you'll want to use. So for this demo account that has $1,000, I'll use 0.1. So the stop loss you get right here from the trade alert. And as we discussed before, depending on what take profit you want to go to, you'll choose one. Type it in here. And you can just put your cursor there in the field and, and literally um, edit the, the numbers there. This last step will actually place you in the trade. So we're going to place a buy. So once we hit buy by market, we're in the trade. Now let's go through those steps for the Android. The screens are a bit different. So from this home page, again, if you have your pair already listed, then you're good. If you don't see it, press the plus button, the plus icon. So I believe for the iPhone, it said um, for Hugo's way, it was FX crosses. But for the Droid, it's going to say FX group. Click on that, and then you'll find um, whatever pair you're looking for if it wasn't listed here. So for the Droid, you just have to click it, and now it will appear on your list. The same way we did for the iPhone, get to your pair, hold it down for one or two seconds, this menu will appear. So remember for the iPhone, it said trade. So for the Droid, it's going to say new order. And this is, the, this is the screen that you'll see. 
Now, one thing that's a little different about the Android is that the words stop loss and take profit are not listed. So the stop loss is the field to the left and the take profit is the field to the right. So just click on those and you, you'll be free to edit those. And then don't forget your lot size. It's very important. You have to check your lot size every time you make a trade. So that's um, an important point to remember. So enter your lot size, your stop loss, your take profit based on the trade alert that came in. And just like with the iPhone, the last step is to either sell or buy. In this case, we're going for a buy. You press it and you're in the trade. All right, so those are the steps that I wanted to review with everyone today. To review, we um, set up our demo account with Hugo's Way. We connected that demo account to our MT4. Um, we went over understanding the Tradera trade alert. And then I just showed you steps for entering the trade for either your Android or your iPhone. All right, we are right at uh, 7.31. So we can take the rest of the time to address any questions that anyone has. If anyone is going through the steps and you got stuck, then I'll try to help you out. Uh, Tasha, can I ask a question? Yes, who's speaking? Uh, this is Jake. <clears throat> hey, Jake. Okay. Um, so when the trade alerts come out from Tradera, mm -hmm. how many good time, like what's the good time to put it in? Because I've, I've taken a few of them and placed my stop loss, but I lost 102 pips on one. So mm -hmm. I was wondering if I got into the trade later or something. So I don't know if there's a recommendation around timing. Yeah, Jake, that's a really, really good question. I'm going to defer that to the traders within Tradera who do the training. Um, what I want to do here is kind of up, but that the any kind of strategy for taking the trade and the timing, because that's a really, really good question. <laughs> I do want to um, defer it to um, probably a Coach Max or a Josh Felt. So what I can do is ask um, that question for you and make sure I get an answer for you. Because a lot of times what I do is I analyze the charts and that dictates when I get into the trade so that I can have um, the least amount of drawdown. However, if the trade alert comes in at midnight and I'm on my way to sleep and it's a uh, European, like a Euro pair or a GBP pair, a pair that typically moves a lot in the European section, then uh, session, then I'm just going to place that trade and just hope that I wake up in blue, which is what happens a lot of times. And then sometimes, Jake, um, the market just does what it wants and the trade just doesn't go our way. So I don't know that there's one specific answer, but I will try to um, address that and get an answer um, for you from, from the Tradera um, trainers. Okay, and I, as, if it's possible as well, I've also noticed on the Tradera site where it shows the history of them taking profits. Mm -hmm. They took a profit one, two, or three, but I don't understand why they're taking different profits on different trades. So that's probably not something you're at, not for this meeting as well, but. Yeah, that's, uh, you're, you're a trader, right? You're, you're not a newbie, or are you? That's why I don't understand why they're taking different trades. Oh, okay. You're asking really, really good questions. Um, so I, I will tell you this much. Sometimes if you take the first take profit, um, what you can do is at that point, move your stop loss to just below where that take profit value is. And now you're still in the trade. So you raise your take profit once you see price getting close to there. And now you, 
by moving that stop loss just under the take profit, you're kind of securing your profits, but you're not closing yourself out of the trade. That way, should price do something, uh, go the other way, then at that point, you have pretty much secured take profit one and you've secured your profits, but you didn't go for take profit two or take profit three. So that could be one explanation. Maybe a trade turned around after the take profit one, but the take profit one was secured. Okay, I like So that, that could be. Mm -hmm. They've got over 150 pips on a lot of them. So it looks like they're worth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I typically only go for take profit two. I have not in the month that I've been taking these trades gone for uh, take profit three. But what I do do, Jake, I'll tell you this, I have multiple entries. So if going for take profit two yields 50 pips, depending on if I have two or three entries, I can get 100 to 150 pips. So that's kind of the way that I do it. And why would you put in more than one entry? Just to double your pip account? Yep, pretty much. And when you take multiple entries, it allows you some flexibility because you could, um, let's say you had a $300 account. So you could do three different entries, each at 0 0.01, so that you're following the recommended lot size, right? Because the 0 0.01 plus the 0 0.01 plus the 0 0.01 gives you your 0 0.03. But with that first entry, you could go for take profit one, 20 pips, you're done. But then for the second entry, you could go for take profit two. And then you could live on the wild side. <laughs> and for that third entry, you could set it at take profit three. Okay. That so makes that's, sense. yeah, that's something that, you know, as you trade a bit, you can experiment with it. We're going to keep it simple right now, but th that was a really, really good question. Well, that answers some of the things I've been scratching my head for the last couple of days. So thank you. Yeah, no problem. I have a question. Who's speaking? This is Bob. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Um, let's say your money runs out on your demo account. How do you refill it back up? That's a good question as well. Um, I imagine there's no, no rule that says you can't have multiples. I don't know if you're able to repopulate a demo account. Um, Hugo's Way has one of the best um, chat services that I've seen. So I'll try to get that question answered because I've actually never thought about it. That's another great question. Let's say I go to zero. Am I going to kick off? Can't trade anymore? Like, what's going to happen if I go to zero? Yeah, you, you definitely, um, even for a demo account, you have to have um, a certain amount in there. So, yeah, just create another account. Okay, Is, okay, I get it. Okay. Uh -huh. That's the immediate answer, but I will check with uh, Hugo's way to see if there's a way to reload a demo. I, I've never thought about it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Good question. All right, thank you. Uh -huh. Who else has a question? I have a question. This is Drew Mack. Hey, Drew. Um, yeah, hi. Is your cap on the number of trades you can do per day? No, it's not based on uh, a time period. It is based on the funds in the account. Okay. So I'm just going to give you a, a quick, short answer. It has to do with the leverage. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, back in the day, you needed a gazillion dollars to play in the stock market, right? So with the invention of brokers like your Hugo's way, your FX choice and your trader's way, now average everyday people like us can take the same trades, you know, that were prohibited because we didn't have a gazillion dollars, you know, years and years ago. With that being said, because the broker is putting their money behind the scenes along with our money, there are certain limits. So with a hundred dollar account, you know, there's going to be a limited amount of trades that you can make until you grow that account. And then you'll have a little bit more room to play with. 
and um, maybe next week we can um, talk about that. Yeah, there's something um, inside where you take the trade that's called margin and free margin. So thanks for bringing that up. I'll, I can add that to our discussion next week. Okay, and, and next question. Does, does, does a broker mm -hmm. charges a fee for each trade that's conducted? Yeah. Um, the way that that fee is, the way that the broker gets paid is through the spread. So let me go back to this screenshot. So one column, you notice there are two columns here. The reason for the difference or the reason that there are two columns is let's say that price is, I'm gonna use an abbreviated number just to make the example easier. I Let's say I'm gonna take this trade alert and price is at 1.1 and I'm going for a buy. Broker says, okay, I'm gonna charge you two pips. So when I enter, I'm actually at, um, let me make it easier. Let's say price was at 1.2. And the broker says, okay, you wanna trade CAD JPY? I'm gonna charge you two pips. So it's for a buy, but when I enter, even though CAD JPY is currently at 1.2, when I enter the trade, I'm at 1.0. So the broker gets paid via the spread on every trade you make. So win or lose, the broker gets its cut kind of up front. And this is where the discussion goes, you know, who is the best brokers? Different brokers charge different spreads per pair. And if there's a big news event coming up or if the president is about to speak and in another country, if their president is about to speak, the spreads can just dramatically go up. So, you know, this part is very important um, to look at because you want to pay attention to the spread that may determine if you take that um, trade with that pair or not the spread may be too high. But yeah, another great question. That's how the broker gets paid. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Wow, you guys have excellent questions. Who else um, has something else on their mind? I have another there... question, Bob. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, let's say um, I see the trade, right? Um, mm -hmm. and I don't put a stop loss. Is it safe to just go in and just press buy and buy the trade without setting a stop loss and watch the trade? Is that really safe to do or? <laughs> yeah, exactly. A, it's, it's, a, it's a tricky question and I'll tell you a true story. So, yeah. uh, I've been trading what two and a half years now. So mm -hmm. I studied in the company that I was in six months, right? Uh -huh. uh, six months before I even looked at MetaTrader 4. So I'm in my live account and I said, I don't need a stop loss. I'm just going to watch the trade. Well, what yeah. happened is that I was trading an exotic pair. An exotic pair is something like USD uh, ZAR. I don't even know what country that is. I just know uh, USD uh, MXN. And uh, USD, um, there's a turkey pair. There are a couple of pairs that are known as exotics, and they are known to move extravagantly. Like oh. you can make a lot of money in just a few minutes. Yeah. But guess what happened in my point, in my um, instance? I was in for a buy, I remember it like it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I saw the biggest wick that I had ever seen. The candle just dropped down 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 and i couldn't even it moved so fast i couldn't exit the trade quick enough so yeah that that's, that that actually happened to me <laughs> i went and i bought a trade it went down to 116 dollars in like two minutes uh, yeah and you're like you're in shock your fingers can't move fast enough and before you know it yeah so i lost like 200 dollars in my live account in like a matter of seconds Okay, same here, same here. Okay, yeah. 
Okay, yeah. so it's, not, it's definitely not safe to set a stop loss then. Okay, definitely. Okay. It's not, but I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that I always set the stop loss. Yeah, exactly. There so. are there are times if it's a pair that I'm familiar with, it's still a risk. I would never we're recording this. So yeah, for you know, for the record, always use your stop loss. <laughs> there are traders that do not, but your account needs to be at a comfortable size and you mm -hmm. have to know it's it's dangerous. I have one more question. Sorry. Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is my last question, by the way. My last question. Sure. Um, do you always do you use the buy and sell button at the bottom, or you choose buy limit sometimes, sell the limit, buy stop, sell stop? When do you use those? Yeah, those are called pending orders, and um, we'll probably get into that a little bit next week. Okay. Um, from from what I've seen, tra the Tradera trade alerts are buy by market and sell by market which means buy now sell now get into the trade market right yeah market execution right away okay. yes yeah sometimes you know when you get into your analysis you know you know that price is going to go up right so you're, mm. you know you want to go for a buy but you're just not quite ready for the trade to to execute yet so mm. a pending order says well when price does this then put me into the trade. Okay, 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 okay. So that's mm -hmm. when you use those. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's just a quick, you know, five second answer for why you would use a pending. When price falls a little bit, then put me into you the sell. In. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Or I okay. or I think price is gonna go down and when it comes back up, you know, then I wanna get into the trade. So that's that's a little bit more advanced, you know. Yeah. I I don't I don't use those that much. I really like to look at the trade at the time that I'm going in. Yeah, exactly. Okay, 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 definitely. Okay. That clarifies wanna, a lot for me. Yeah, I want to look at the candles. I want to see what's going on. But however, like I said before, if it's if I'm going to sleep and the trade alert comes in, I'll put it in through faith. Like, yeah. It, it may not even be ready, but I'm not going to stay up all night and watch it. So let me just put it in, set my take profit too, set my stop loss and, and go for it. Okay. So once you set your stop loss, you don't have to watch it anymore. You're done with that trade pretty much then. Yeah. And, you know, as, as we get a little bit more advanced, sometimes, you know, the trade alerts are someone's best analysis, right? Mm -hmm. So... If we if we are looking for price to go up mm -hmm. and we set our stop loss, sometimes the stop loss is what we call too tight. It was too close. And the trade did exactly what we thought it would do, but five tips after it hit our stop loss, it turned around. You know? Oh, okay, okay. So that's why there are some traders who will use a bigger stop loss to give price a little bit more room to do what it needs to do. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. But yeah, that's, um, yeah, that's, that's a, that's a trader's question. <laughs> there's no uh -huh. easy answer there. You know, there's no uh -huh. easy answer there. So is there a limit how long you keep your trades for like a day, two days? Right. Or like yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about it. So if you're our, if you are a scalper, then mm -hmm. you may be in a trade 5, 10, 15 minutes. That's what I did today. I scalped gold about 10 times, made about $100. I was using, you know, moderate lot size. I, 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 want, to, uh, I want gold to be my pair. So I just studied it this afternoon and scalped it uh, maybe yeah, about 10 times. And didn't have a losing trade, right? So oh, that's okay. scalping. Yeah. So intraday is, well, I may take a trade in the morning, but at some point during, you know, the 12 hour day, that trade would either have hit my take profit and I'm done or hit my stop loss and I'm done. So in the middle of the day, I'm out of that trade, right? So I'm somewhere between a scalper and an intraday trader. Um, the Tradera trades are um, 
labeled as intraday. So somewhere between, you know, 12, 24 hours, you know, you can be out of the trade. I oh, have okay. done some swing or position trading. Mm. And that is, you expect a huge trend, right? You catch it at the bottom, price is going to go up two, three, four, five hundred pips. You may be in that trade for weeks. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's definitely not my style. I've tried it. I don't think I have the patience for it. Even though there's a big reward at the end, trade to swing back and forth because price doesn't go just straight from A to B. It's stair steps. It goes up, it comes down. It goes up, it goes down. It goes up, it goes down as it goes up the steps. Likewise, when price descends, it goes down, then it goes up a little bit. It goes down, then it goes up a little bit. So when you swing trade, you know, those swings can be, you know, kind of big. So you have to have a bigger account, have a much higher um, stop loss to be able to swing trade and sit on the trade for a week or for weeks. But guess what? You don't have to trade every day. You can set up a trade at the beginning of April, maybe two or three, and then just watch it for the rest of the month. So that's the mm -hmm. great part about swing trade. I kind of like the excitement of being in the market um, a few times a week. So mm -hmm. I'm more of a scalper and an intraday trader. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So whatever, whatever fits your style and patience level. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. Seven so thirty one. So we have about. Yes. Hey there. Uh, hey. Um. I was just gonna suggest that I know with Matter Trader Four. Um. Once you join, you get a demo account with them as well, and they give you about a hundred thousand dollars to play around with until say you feel like you could go live with your own money so for yeah. the question that the gentleman was asking if your money runs out but if you are studying and really paying attention i don't think you'll be able to run out of that hundred thousand dollars anytime soon that's true that that's a good point i'll tell you why i the reason that I sent you guys through the broker in Hugo's way, I wanted to get you ready for what you would do for a live account. And we kind of recommend that you trade with an amount that's somewhat in the ballpark of what you're going to start your live account with. Now, we recommend like $100, you know, just to get your feet wet when you do your live account. Some people can trade with as small as um, $50. The problem with having $100,000 in your demo account is that your lot sizes are huge. And it's just so not realistic to how you're going to start when you, when you actually live trade. And you're trying to prepare your mind for what it's going to be like. So you'll see that your demo trades, <laughs> your mindset is one thing, but it's a little different. You know, it's like practice is versus the actual game so that's that's the only downside to having that demo account that mt4 gives you is that you don't get to practice using the prop yeah, great point you definitely won't run out of money hopefully not <laughs> well i only took a thousand dollars so i mean that's what i was saying i'm down to like 650 so i'm not really worried i'm not gonna lose all my money but yeah. I didn't. I didn't take a hundred thousand. I took a thousand to be more realistic, as you were yeah. saying. Yeah. Yeah. All right. For that same reason, I wanted to be realistic. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. So I wanted so, to get reality uh, before I started using real money. You know what I mean? Uh, I hear you. I I do. Since we have a few minutes, I do want to talk about um, lot sizes. And to tell you why trading can be so uh, exciting. So let's talk about a 10 pip move. So let's say we take a trade and we got 10 pips. So if I had $100 and I used a 0.01 for my lot size, for, my lot size, for 10 pips, I'm going to make um, 10 cents for every pip. So that's $1, right? 
So when you first start out, you're in the dollar um, arena in terms of what you're making on your trades, you know, and it may seem really, really small and insignificant. So um, $200 account, 0 0.02. If I take a trade and I get 10 pips, then I got $2. Again, we're in the dollars arena. It seems sort of, sort of small and insignificant. But once you get to $1,000 and you're able to use a 0.1 lot size, now every time price moves a pip, I earn a dollar. So on a 10 pip trade, I just made $10. Now keep in mind, most of the Tradera trades the take profit one will be 20. Take profit two is normally 50 pips. If you do two entries, you're talking about $100, right? So imagine making $100 every time you take a trade and you win, okay? Then it gets even better. When you're able to use a standard lot size, you're making $10 for every pip. So for a 10 pip move, I made a hundred dollars for a hundred pips. That's a thousand dollars. Imagine making a thousand dollars for one trade where you took multiple entries. And fifty pips is, you know, relatively. Um, I've been doing it a lot with the Tradera trade alerts. Two entries for take profit two, a hundred pips, easy. So. Just know that, you know, when you first start trading, I know this all seems like a lot. It seems like a different language, but this is a skill set that can pay the bills. You know, that is definitely my goal. And my success re recently, maybe in the last six months, it started with one $174 account that I was able to double. We were with um, and making um, other company some uh, mentors who were swing trading. And yeah, I doubled one $174 account. And it's just been like to the moon ever since then. So hmm. don't sweat the small beginnings <laughs> because now, you know, my account is in the thousands and wow. I'm able to do multiple account, multiple trades, you know, with maybe four trades at, you know, point one, but it wasn't, you know, that long ago where I literally doubled my first trade, my first account with $174. But the good news is I can honestly say I follow this chart. So I've taken, you know, 174, doubled that first account, but I never had to, to cheat with my lot size and risk an account, risk blowing an account. So hopefully that will um, be some motivation. You know, when you first start trading and you're making two bucks, you know, <laughs> don't sweat the beginnings. It, you want to take that first $100 account, double it, it becomes 200. And then the more you accumulate, the easier it is to double, you know? So definitely make all the mistakes that you can um, with your demo account and don't rush yourself. Some people may demo for a week, two weeks. Some people may demo for a couple of months. You know, this is your skill set that's going to, you know, eventually pay the bills. So take your time. Just one question well, before you go. Can, yeah, you have go a, can, can you have a demo account and a live account running simultaneously? You can. Mm -hmm. So with MetaTrader 4, you'll just choose, because I have several accounts, you'll just choose with several different brokers. So when I log in, I just choose which um, account I want to log into. I normally always start a smaller account and then just get the confidence to grow that one again, because I don't ever want to lose what that feels like, you know, to take that small account and be able to grow it. So absolutely. Tasha, where can we find this recording? I will uh, get this to Megan tonight and it will be on YouTube.
um, you can just search for my channel, search for my name on YouTube, and all at least all the other ones that we that we review tonight, setting up your demo, connecting to MT4, understanding the trade alert, um, all of those will be um, on YouTube. So yeah, we'll get it there for you. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So there is live trading tonight at eight. You guys will have to, you know, make that call as to when you're ready. I know this is a lot <laughs> and it can seem overwhelming. I'm so proud of the back office. Um, when I first started training, the library of videos that I watched was so big, it literally took me six months. But once I got out of it and I tried to trade, I didn't have a single strategy. So what I love about the Tradera back office is it teaches you from the beginning how to trade successfully. You know, it's like learning a foreign language, but then you go to the country and you don't know any practical phrases. <laughs> Tradera does a wonderful job at teaching you what you need to know to be a good trader. So don't be afraid to jump into that Forex section and that technical analysis section. So we're going to run this class um, at least another week or two with new information. And then I think you guys will be ready, more than ready, to uh, tackle the, the live classes. There's a 20 pips and dip indicator that is amazing. I used it today to scalp gold. Made a quick $100 in a couple of, maybe maybe an hour maybe five, 10 different entries on gold. So that indicator is really good. It uses TradingView, which is another application. And I'll go over that briefly, like maybe Thursday or, or next week. But just a few more classes, and I think you guys will be ready to, to do the lives or go now if you wanna get exposure to it. And we'll also talk about um, the live accounts for when you're ready for that. Any Thank other questions before we go? You're welcome. So guys, st stick with it. I know it's a lot at the beginning, but once you get over this hump, that's what this class is for on Tuesdays and Thursdays to help you get over that initial hump. You know, you won't, you won't look back and you'll be, you'll be ready. I, I work with my cousin. She's on my team and she, she's, you know, followed me for a couple of years in my trading <laughs> ups and downs, you know, the highs and the lows. And so I had sent her some of these videos, but she was really afraid that she was going to mess something up. So I talked to her over the phone and we, I walked her through the stuff. She has an iPhone and I showed her how to take a trade and she goes, is that it? And I said, yeah. She said, really? That's it. I said, yeah that's it and so today the trade alert came and she took it i sent her a text say hey we got a trade alert she goes i'm already in it you know so that was um definitely a win i know it's a bit of a hump but we're here to to kind of walk you through it so you can have some fun tasha um one more last question sure um when it, on my education platform mm -hmm. My 4X thing, my element one, element two, those things aren't showing up on my, on my internet website. How do I get those? Yeah, I've been seeing in the chats, um, my back office, yeah. my back office was missing earlier today. Now it's back. So I think the, the site was having some hiccups. This so plugin is not supported. And I, I do have PDF and, and I can't open those things to read about 4X introduction and all that stuff. So Are you on your phone or laptop? I'm on my phone. Yeah, right. They're working on the mobile app. So it should be working on my computer? Yes, for sure. You should for sure be able to, to pull up the PDFs on your computer. But right, yeah, I do know that the mobile app is not ready. So there's definitely uh, issues with the education platform on your phone for now. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, my dear. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, everyone. Well, I don't want to hold you too long. Um, jump into your back office. Um, 
there's some a lot of good stuff back there. And uh, we'll talk to everyone on Thursday. Thank you so much. Okay, Thank you're you welcome. So good Thank night. You. All right. Thank good night. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much again. Thank you. You're Thanks welcome. a lot. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Be on the water. Huh? Be on the water.